Okay, we're back with three CST questions. So answer a question out there that some people are asking about. Yes, I will put the answers in the comments of the other questions, but I was given some time for some other people to answer some questions. Uh, just also another caveat to CST is some of the feedback that I'm getting. Why am I holding this? Some of the feedback, <laughs> some of the, some of the feedback that I'm getting from the CST, at least people that are taking the CST exam, is a lot of these questions that are coming back are more scenario based. And a lot of the review is not that way. So today's questions, I'm gonna put them in a scenario and hopefully you guys can answer in that, in that scenario. You like that scenario. But anyways, three CST questions today and these are based around scenarios. Uh, so get used to kind of studying that way. It's not going to be a straightforward question. Uh, a lot of these will be put in scenarios. But that being said, you should know the subjects and that's all that really matters. But I would also, when you start looking at these questions, try to find keywords. Uh, these tests are not too complicated. I'm sorry. These tests are not trying to fool you. So look for those keywords in a sense of how they match up to the answers. So anyway, so let's look at that first one and I'll put it up on the screen and you put the answers in the comment section, okay? And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you an additional question just for your incentive to stay around, right? So here I go, first question, right? And I'll put it up on that screen so you guys can see it, right? During a surgical procedure, a patient sustained extensive burns on their arm due to a prolonged exposure to a chemical agent. Upon assessment, the skin appears white and charred, extended through the entire thickness of the skin, potentially deeper tissues. The patient reports numbness in the air affected area. The patient reports numbness in the affected area. Question is, what type of burn involves damage to the epidermis, the dermis, and potentially deeper tissues is most likely indicated by these symptoms? Is it A, first degree burn? Is it B, second degree burn? Is it C, third degree? Or is it D, a fourth degree burn? So that is an example of a long scenario question. So I, it's in your interest to slow down and read these questions. Right, you can find some keywords there: the epidermis, the dermis, potentially deeper tissue. And if you know your first, second, third, and fourth degree, it's progressively as it goes through the skin. Right. So I'm not going to tell you the answer. Go ahead and try. Answer that. On to the next one. All right. Question number two that I like, and I'll put that on the screen. This time I will. I'll put that on the screen right now. Here we go. Question number two, scenario. A patient undergoes surgery to repair a traumatic injury. In the post-operative period, the surgical technologist observes redness, warmth, swelling at the surgery site. Swelling at the surgical site. Additionally, the patient reports tenderness, discomfort in that area. Which phase of wound healing is most likely occurring based on the observation? Is it A? hemostasis? Is it B, inflammation? Is it C, proliferation? Or is it D, remodeling? So as you read these scenario questions, slow down, try to find some key words. To me, it's observed, redness, warmth, swelling. Which phase of wound healing does that fall under? Go ahead and give it a try. On to the third question. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. On to the third question. That was my subtle way of trying to get subscribers. Anyways, I thank you for watching. Third question as I try to find, and why am I putting this up I like a light bulb? All right, question number three as I put that up on the screen. And don't forget to stick around. I have one more bonus question. Here we go. During a surgical procedure, a surgical technologist is assisting the surgical team. The surgeon requests the administration of an anticoagulant to prevent blood clotting during the procedure. The circulating nurse prepares to administer the medication. Which of the following medications are example of anticoagulation 
commonly used in surgery? Is it A, morphine? Is it B, ibuprofen? Is it B, ibuprofen? Is it C, heparin? Or is it D, amoxicillin? All right, go give it a try. That should be pretty easy. But you can see how they, they start to put it in some scenario. The answer is probably obvious. Is it obvious to you? On to the bonus question. You stuck around to the last <laughs> one. I appreciate it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, hey, suggest some things you guys want to see, okay? In the future, I'm going to try to get a little bit more in-depth in these questions and try to break them down. But I just wanted to get some videos out there of a couple questions stimulate CSD. Um, if you are a surgical tech in the field or if you're a future surgical tech, uh, give me your advice. Give me your suggestions. What kind of questions are you looking at? What's driving you nuts? What are you having difficult with? All right, bonus question. You stuck around. Here we go. Put it up on the screen. I'll read it for you. During a surgical procedure, the patient begins to experience excessive salvation or bronchial secretions which interfere with the surgical field. As a CST, you remember the appropriate pharmacology intervention to manage the situation. What medication would you anticipate being administered to reduce excessive secretions? Is it A, the epinephrine? Is it B, lidocaine? Is it C, atrophine? Or is it atrophine? Or is it D, morphine? All right, give it a try. All right. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, what are you having trouble with? In the future, I'll try to break down these questions in more detail. Um, I wanted you just to be exposed to questions. My <coughs> advice is try to expose you to as, expose yourself to as much information as possible. But what are you doing to study, right? It's a lot of questions. It's a broad spectrum of information, right? If you put in the work, and that is the key, put in that work, right? Anyways, thank you for sticking around.